Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Carpo here with another Neo video. And today we are going to be showing you a pretty cool epic glitch in Neo. This is the Infinite Arm Marita glitch. Okay, now you can do this during the submission trial of the master. I'm doing this on New Game Plus so you can get more Arm Marita. Now, this isn't the best efficient way to get Armorita, but if you about to go to the mall, if you sleeping at night, if you about to leave for an extended period of time, you can do this glitch and then just leave your PlayStation on and come back to over 100 million uh, Armorita. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, get you to play by play. Now, when you first start off, you wanna head to the right. Okay, you're gonna come up on this skeleton. All right, you want to take out this big skeleton. It is a smaller, a little skeleton as well. So go ahead and take those guys out. Okay. Now, it's not going to be those stairs. I'm going to show you exactly the stairs that you need to go to in order to get this glitch going and get that cool Omarita going. All right. Now, you want to go ahead and take out the second skeleton guy, like I said. All right. And it's not going to be this room. All right, that's not the stairs that you want to go to. You want to go to the second set of stairs, okay? So we're going to head back over to where we first started at, like so. And here is the second stair set. Now, there's going to be a ninja that's going to drop down. And go ahead and take this guy out as well, all right? Now, most people that's doing this uh, Marita Glitch is not going to give you the play-by-play -play and tell you exactly what you're going to run into. There's a few other things that's going to happen. Now, once this head comes down, this is the guy that you're going to do the glitch with. You're going to have this guy. Uh, you want to get him stuck underneath the stairs. Now, I'm going to show you it in real time. So you can see it can be a little tricky. This is actually my second time doing it. I did it uh, the first time last night. And it was pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and give it a second try for uh, put out this video so everybody else can do it too. And I did it on my second try, so it's not too hard to do. Now, as you can see, that little uh, head will spawn uh, some revenants in. So, you know, go ahead and take those revenants out. Now, after he spawned the revenants, you know, you want to get them stuck underneath the wall. So. What most people don't tell you is how they do it, all right? You want to lock on to them, and the camera is going to be a little tricky once you lock on to them. But you want to get them stuck underneath the stairs, like right when you walk in the door, okay? Now, what I did is, basically, you want to just play around with the guy, you know? Play around with them. Get them underneath the stairs. Have them follow you, like so, you know? If he's not following you the way you want try to move all the way behind the stairs or just go outside and let them come to you and then run back up all right that's what you basically want to do now like i said this is in real time i'm not going to chop the video or anything like that so you can see exactly how long it took for me to get it done it took around roughly around five minutes and this was my second try so you guys definitely can get it done. It's not too hard. And like I said, it's not the most efficient way to get Armorita. Not at all. But if you're going to do something, you leave your PlayStation on and you come back to a crap ton. See? Now, that's what you want to do. You want to run around so this guy can be right underneath the stairs. Right? And you see how it's bobbing up and down? Bobbing up and down? All right? That's how you know you're, you're pretty much in the right spot. But still, he's not stuck. Right? He's not stuck. See, he comes right back out. So don't go ahead and, 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 and shoot him with the arrow juice yet. You want to make sure he's in the right spot. And when you know he's in the right spot, he's going to shake up and down. And you're going to see his horns come through the stairs. Okay? So I ran back around like so. And see, while he's in the front right here, this is a good thing. This is when you pop to get him in spot. Right? See, I ran back and right there. This is the spot where you want to get him. Like I said, he's going to be bouncing up and down. You see the horns? Okay. Now you're ready to start the infinite or Marita glitch. Now this will be patched. So get out there and have some fun with it. Uh, when you're busy, when you're not playing, 
Um, you're going to do something. You're going to the grocery store. Uh, you're going to the mall, like I said. You're sleeping overnight. You're going to hang out with your boys. You're going to go out on a date. Whatever. Go ahead. Do this glitch. Come back to Buku Tun for Marita. Now, once he's in position, like so, like I said, you want to run around and make sure he doesn't follow you. Perfect. He's not following me. I saw the horns come up. He's stuck underneath. What you want to do is you want to go to your bow and arrow. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a lesser level bow and arrow. And then you basically just want to shoot him. When you shoot him, he's going to get stuck into the stairs like so. And then here comes the Armorita. Pretty cool. Now, most people will be done and just be like, yo, this is it. You leave your place. Here. No, I'm going to tell you a little bit more to be even more efficient with this form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my Kadama bow. It has extra 30% um, armorita uh, gauge, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. And I have all of these extra pieces that have armorita on it too. As you can see, 4.7 on this piece. And I'm going to go ahead and put on my uh, Master Swordsman because I have actually armorita, rolled armorita on there, which is cool. You can also have yokai armorita and that will work as well. So. I am stacking the uh, Armorita, as you can see. Right there is another 5.9. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go to my pants. Meanwhile, I'm still getting Armorita, right? This guy is still giving it to me, okay? Go down here and I'm going to go change my, um, my, my pants because they have Armorita on it as well. So it doesn't matter what you wear right here because you're just basically going to be stationary. So put on anything, doesn't matter if it's mismatched or not. Anything with Armorita, anything with uh, Yokai Armorita, like this Armorita from Yokai. And when you get down to your um, to your accessory slot, you want to have things on there as well. Now I picked up this right here. It's only level 121 and it's yellow. And it's this is the one everybody looking for. You get Armorita while living weapon is active. And I got Armorita from Yokai. And then it's another 9.4 Armorita. All right, so boom. I have all of this on, right? So you're getting all this extra XP. And as you can see, it's moving even faster. Now, what's cool about this, uh, I didn't see anybody else doing this. You pop your living weapon, okay? Now, if you have your guardian spirit where you have 30% uh, extra while the living weapon is active, oh boy, that stack with your other accessories can make this Extremely even faster get you way more on Marita. So when you come back uh, You'll be sitting at well over 100 100 million, you know, what I'm saying I did it uh, last night And I was sitting at over a hundred million in like six hours So yeah, basically get out there and get before they patch it like I said You ain't gotta do it anytime But do it when you're not playing the game and and, and you'll come back to a lot of more Marita living weapons not going down and that is what's up and that's going to end it for this video. Like and subscribe for more content. Get out there. Have some fun with Neo. And I will see y'all.